Before the video starts, I just want to say that I have sold my island to Frotots. He's taking really good care of it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. 10 seasons of MC Central Skyblock. I never thought this piece of shit server would last this long. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, it could benefit on some changes. <coughs> Interacting with your player base. <coughs> Hey, what's up gamers? If you haven't known already, Kieran has posted his usual and well-known mega thread for each season of Skyblock. So for you illiterate and lazy people, your boy Saboru is going to summarize it for you. Please note, these are all SUGGESTIONS and may or may not be added in the next season of Skyblock. Also, Skyblock is not due to a reset until May slash June, so don't get too aroused as there's still one to two more months of your boredom torture. Quick note, I'll only be going through the ones I really hope to be implemented next season. Link to Kieran's full thread will be in the description. Updating mystery spawners. A new mechanic to mystery spawn. A roll per spawner. For example, instead of receiving five magma cube spawners, you get five rolls giving five random spawners. I do like this idea as I have constantly been analed by six sh spawners every myth key I open. Island interaction. Preset options or the ability to run a command to allow players to interact with certain blocks on your island. For example, use stone button would allow players to press stone buttons but not break them. Break melon would allow players to break melon blocks. This opens a wide range of community activity slash minigames that couldn't have been achieved in the past. I prayed for this to be added in season 9 but hopefully it'll be added next season. Kieran Bowles cheap ticking spawners. Basically to summarize this, if implemented, spawners do not lose profit regardless of lag of the current TPS of the server. Add stacked items. This will allow players to once again create effective and more rewarding cactus farms. Buff cactus farm if if stacked items were to be implemented. Completely remove sand physics. Increase cactus price in shop. Super massive chest. Basically a player head that can collect an insane amount of a certain item. Composter bin. Semi rare. A player head when placed will grow an 8x8 area by one growth stage per X amount of ticks. Crops affected will be wheat, carrots, potatoes, warts, cactus, sugarcane, cocoa beans, and saplings. Automatically update island level. Currently you need to type the command slash island level or relogging to update your island level. In my opinion, I like the way it is at the moment. I can see the progress jump up after placing X number of blocks. Or if implemented, it can be toggled on or off. Rebalance custom enchants. Reduce token cost to 20 tokens and add cost of 30 XP per level. All books should be given at level 1 and must be combined with a duplicate level 1 book to upgrade it to level 2. This will make high level books more valuable and increase the grinding of experience. New custom enchants. Mending. If you were to wear a helmet, chestplate, leggings and boots, there is a 1 in 4 chance any specific item will receive a mending effect. Mending 1, 1 XP gives 1 durability. Mending 2, 1 XP gives 2 durability. And Mending 3, 1 XP gives 3 durability. XP Magnet. XP Magnet is automatically given to the player. Loot Magnet. Loot automatically picked up by the player. Crop Cell Multiplier. Adds a boost to the base price of farmable crops. 2% per boost with a max level of 3, with all 4 armor pieces will come to a total of 24% profit boost. Bring back shop items and buff shop discount perk, adding a large variety of blocks back into the shop at a higher price. This will allow players who would want free blocks to use slash cobble, and players that want blocks ASAP has the option to purchase them from store. In doing so, buffing the discount perk to 15% to 25% will still be balanced. Rework slash cobble. Rather than having a time limit and a price to use the generator, it should be free to use. Bring back neighbor islands. Being able to see another player's island from the edge of your own. I disagree using the max size of an island to 200 by 200 as it removes a big aspect of Skyblock, which is building large attractions and builds to really give that wow factor in a Skyblock island. Virtual island chest. Opening a shared island chest with a command such as slash is chest. Replace explosive tools with a drill item. Whenever you click on a block would instantly remove it rather than when you mine it. There could also be an upgraded version, Silk Touch Drill, that would also silk touch when breaking the item. Making color skulls more common. They're a cosmetic item to make your island look amazing. It doesn't give your island any advantage in any way but to enhance the aesthetics of your island. They should come in a higher quantity. Slash Smelt. 
allows you to cook raw food, sand into glass, clay into hardened clay instantly. Costs one coal per eight items, but it's instant. Simple shop sign. Hold an item and type the following command for easy chess shop setups. Easier mob grinding. Some mobs can't be one hit, even with a sharp six sword and a strength two potion. Adding damage multiplier to certain mobs to let them be one hit with maxed out gear. Bring back boosters. Charity time. Gives every player online $5,000 every 15 minutes for one hour. Instant crop. All manual crops grow instantly when randomly ticked. Not cactus. Mob drop multiplier. All manually killed mobs drop three times loot for one hour. I have skipped over several suggestions that I believe are small changes that is not much of a priority than the others. But please click the link in the description for the full thread written by Kieran for a full in-depth overview of his suggestion. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end of the video. Hope I'll see you guys next season. Goodbye for now and as always, take care.